Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is ExpressJS full tutorial series for absolute beginners. Today onwards, for the next four episodes, you will learn about the CRUD operations with MongoDB. It's important, this, will, this should serve as your blueprint for building any application going forward. We are going to do this in five steps. We are going to install Express Generator app from scratch. We are going to import Mongoose library. We are going to create some document schemas, create models for them. And in the next four episodes, I will show you post, get, put and delete. Once you cover all of these five uh, next five episodes, you should be able to build any CRUD operations with ExpressJS and MongoDB. Welcome back. This is part 19 of the ExpressJS full tutorial playlist. I've covered all these topics previously in the playlist. Make sure you check them out. Ask me if you have any doubts in this. Please drop your queries in the comments section. I will be happy to help you. Today we are learning about the CRUD operations and setting up the basis for all the CRUD operations, which is create, read, update and delete. All right. So before we get started, uh, I also have a MongoDB playlist uh, in my channel. Make sure you check that out because we are working with MongoDB and you are required to know and have knowledge about MongoDB. I've tried and uh, covered most aspects of MongoDB and it's an ongoing course which will definitely help you. Thank you in advance. All right. So what's the, you'll hear the word CRUD operations, right? Uh, quite often when you're building uh, any kind of application in any environment. So it refers to create, read, update and delete. So create means creating a new document record in collection, right? Reading means getting retrieving data. Update means obviously updating existing documents. And finally, delete means deleting the records from the collection, right? If you want to relate to SQL, you can think of it like create is your insert read is your select, update is your update command and delete is finally the delete operation, right? So that being said, let's get started with the CRUD operations using ExpressJS with MongoDB. All right, so the first thing we'll have to do is we'll follow these steps. First, we'll create an Express Generator app. We will install Mongoose library. We'll import that into our code and then we'll create a document schema and create a model for it. Right. So this is what we are going to do in today's episode. Make sure that you see the other video, next four videos, because that's where I will also continue using the same model for creating, updating, deleting and finally reading the data. Let's get started. All right. So that being said, um, first, we need to create an Express Generator app. Let's go to code. So I'm doing this from scratch. All right. Uh, the reason being that I want you to learn how it is done firsthand. All right. So I have an empty app here, empty folder, which is express uh, four for name that I've given. So what we are going to do, open a command and type express hyphen generator. <coughs> so once you do that, it would bring the default copy of the sample, or I would say uh, the basic template skeleton to your backend API layer, right? So we got it here. Now just do a NPM install. This will resolve all the dependencies which are in the package.json, create a node modules file for you. Again, please do uh, like the video. Please do subscribe uh, to the channel if you haven't already done it. All right, so we got the node modules. We got everything app. Now we can directly run it by saying NPM run start. So you see this is starting because the output is in the www. If you want to change the port, you can change it on line number 15. I'm not changing it, but if you have any other applications running on port number 3000, feel free to change it. All right, so that being said, let's go to our uh, browser and just refresh. You should see this express welcome to Vic express message. If you see this, that means your code is up and running and you are good to roll by starting coding, right? So the next thing that we're going to do is install the mongoose library. So we are going to say npm install mongoose hyphen hyphen save. So this will bring 
the Mongo's library, which is what we will use to work with MongoDB. If you follow the steps that I'm doing, this will become your template for any CRUD operations in any Angular or mean stack or Express.js based applications. All right, so we got the Mongoose uh, installed. Uh, you can verify it in package.json. You can see here we got the Mongoose. So now next what we are going to do, open your app.js, right? And what we are going to do is we are going to import it, right? We are going to import it. So let's do that. So we are going to say, our mongoose is equal to just say require and here we are going to pass the library name which is mongoose okay so now you have done that so the next thing we will do is creating a document schema right I will show you how to split it into models everything also but first let's create one schema so let's say we want to build something called students right so you can say student schema equal to right so then you'll say mongoose dot schema and here we will define the schema it would be written in this okay then you will give the you'll say student id right and then mention the data type right and then you will say first name this will be a string last name this will again again these are not fields that you define you can have any name that you like these are basically, basically keys right document that you want to capture so that is up to you add more fields is what i would say like for example uh, date of birth right um, and department anything i mean just go on add it uh, feel free to add any fields or keys that you would like to see it in your database so you created the schema now now once we have created the schema we need to create a model for it because that is what will talk to our mongodb right so what we are going to do we are going to say student which is nothing but an instance right so we will say mongoose mongoose dot now here we will say dot model so we are saying what what kind of model it is so we are saying the model name is student and what's the schema the same schema that you created here right so once you have done it that's it now this is what will be used in our uh, application for create read update and delete purpose right I'm going to keep it very, very simple and have all of this here only in this particular file so that you have one place for all your CRUD operations. Ideally, you can also do it in terms of models, right? So ideally, what you will do is you will create model for each and every schema and then export it, right? So we can do that also right away. If you want, let's do that. So what I'm going to do, uh, we'll create a folder and we'll call it models, right? And what I'm going to do, just cut everything here right whatever you have it here just cut it here as it is right just cut it here and go to your models and define a new and say student dot model dot js right now what we'll do we'll just paste it here and since we need more mongoose here so we are going to say const mongoose equal to require mongoose Right? So see, now I created a model separate file for student. I have the schema. I have the value here. So now what we will do and we can export this, right? So we can say this is a model. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just simply going to export it. Exports equal to student model. Right? So see, the, the benefit of this is I can now have all of this into separate separate files right so i can have individual models that i want to use in the app all we have to do now is import it and we can say student model equal to require right and we are going to say dot slash models slash student dot model right so now we got our model to work with now similarly you can have a controller separately and we can have it there also I will do that in the next because in the next episode we I'm going to show you how to post data to using this particular model.
right so make sure you follow the next episode but for now let me list down the steps that we have done and what you should be doing first create express generator app you create an app right now this is nothing but i'm doing it because i'll get a ready-made template and folder structure to work with there is no hard and fast rule you should use express generator you can just have an index.js file and work with that also it's a good practice to start with express generator app the next step is once you have created install mongoose library the third step is import it import mongoose library or app next create a model folder then create create a schema for your collection right in our case the collection name is equal to students right and if you are learning just do the steps that i have done that is the only way to learn once you create the schema then create a mongoose model of the same schema collection with a name so once you do this if you see here i have done that i have created the schema and then i have created the mongoose model and exported that so that way we can use this anywhere we want once you have done that just make sure you import the newly created model into app.js or any js file wherever you want to create your crud operations right one common mistake that people do is they don't import here you need to import the mongoose library here also because you're using it here right a lot of people don't do this step and that's where they'll see errors right so once you have done this step in the next episode we will start with crud operations that is post get read and delete right so step number eight is to do create slash post method for our collection right after that we will do read update and delete right so follow along in the next episode we will do create or post method in express.js of mongodb if you are enjoying this tutorial please do uh, subscribe to my channel please do like the video also if you feel also feel feel to donate to uh, buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials thank you so much join me in the next episode